Hello everyone, this is Bigowski. Uh, this is JTB. And we forgot to end the part one video uh, to start the part two, so this is what we're doing. This is part two of chapter 12. And go ahead, JTB. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna he'll go back and save after the ghost fish come down and destroy the worms with low health UF. I remember um, when Kyori put out his Master Ninja videos, and the, the first time he showed, like, how good the low health UF can be against the worms, and he just kills them both in, like, five seconds. <laughs> it's like, damn, that was ridiculous. You know, was like, everybody was, was scared about jumping in the, you know, getting electrocuted in the water. Yeah, I mean, you can cancel it pretty easily with Nimpo, and um, it's it's just one of those things, you know, like in the early days, people just didn't think to do it. Um, now, this is a really smart choice he uses here to use the Gleaming Blade, because the Gleaming Blade, much like the Luna, you don't really have to hit anything for the animation to start, and Ghost Fish are kind of stupid, they just love to run into your UT and die. Um, so it's a really good choice to use that weapon there to get a lot of UTs out of that fight. Well, you know, he had a, a blue essence from killing that worm. I wonder if he could have went in there and just did an on-landing... You know, with either the the UF, I mean, excuse me, the uh, the lunar or the gleaming blade, instead of lighting the fire wheels, because he missed out on a UT, potentially. Yeah, potentially. Or whatever. I guess he got such a good worm fight, it's not really worth the risk, I guess. It's like, if you get a good worm fight, like any kind of fight where you have gauntlets, it's like sometimes you're just going to have to take the best of what, you, what your runs give you. Now, in this situation here, I'm not sure if he's actually got it still, but... I'm not sure if he's got the nunchucks, because it doesn't look like he actually has them. I was just thinking, like, maybe he could use those for an extra ET here and there, but I can't remember where the nunchucks fall in the... Because like, in Sigma, they change the order of the weapons in your inventory. Because um, I believe the nunchucks are actually top of the list in Sigma, whereas in Black, you know, they're below the Dragon Sword. So. Notice he upgraded the level 2. Yeah, he's got the level 2 to build. I don't think, because of the way Sigma is, I know I've mentioned it a couple of times, you don't really need, like, the, the level 1 heavy weapons as much to really farm. And if you do need them, then the Warhammer's going to cover that base for you. And a couple of times in this chapter, at least, you know, a, a level 1 UT actually hasn't killed these imps. So if that happens in a situation where he wants it to kill the imp, then obviously that's going to screw him over and he's going to lose points. This is a really awkward like environment to fight ghost fishing for karma because they've got such a lot of space to just come out of nowhere and ruin your day well again there could have been a potential ut you know missed at that point too by killing 12 12 enemies and we're not criticizing just more points for the next guy yeah and it's as we said before you know it's a hell of a lot easier said than done I'm interested to see what weapon he uses. I believe it's the Luna. Oh no, he goes with the Devilero. Now here's where he's going to use just the you know the forward jump part of the Devilero UT. So he, as he jumps, he's going to start the time limit with that UT. Now this fight can be really annoying. Sometimes you only get eight enemies spawn in this fight, which, as far as I remember, I don't really think there's anything you can do to make sure you get the full 16 or 12 because it's just a really weird aspect of the game where sometimes you get more enemies in a fight as opposed to others, so I'm not really sure about that. Uh, but as you can see, using the like the level 1 Warhammer, the level 1, even the Debilero is going to kill those with the UT, so it doesn't really matter what weapon you use at the start, it's just the Debilero has the added range that the Warhammer doesn't have, but you can get your UT chain going really easily. Now at this point he is going to have Celerity, so for people that remember, Smoke Bomb Jump after a UT will guarantee you an ET charge, and then the Essence is going to come out, so you're going to charge your UT in perfect timing. And that's kind of a, a really big thing, what Armlet Celerity gives you, because it makes the Smoke Bombs a lot more effective for kind of chaining UTs in mid-fight. Do you get, I was, just, I was just saying, do you get a Clone Rear one hard? I guess you do. <laughs> Couldn't remember. Now that's going to be the rat essence that he uses to chain UTs. Now I believe in black he only has the explosive arrows on very hard. I don't think he has them on hard. Um, and this strategy right here was shown um, by Kyori in NGB, which um, was like blew me away when I first saw it. I was like, how did he think to do this? 
Like, it was really, really good. And I can't remember off the top of my head how much essence the Dabiro Ryu gives you, but I know it's a hell of a lot. I think it's 56,000 when you kill him with a UT. So, kind of a, a common thing in karma runs, like, you kind of can really balance your essence around the evil reuse when you have them because each one gives you so much money especially on sigma with not needing to finish with 2000 more you can really kind of make up any items that you use throughout right yeah that was again, my great commentary <laughs> <laughs> and again that's going to be the rat essence there i think this is one time limit where they really really toned it down for black uh, for sigma rather because i think the i know on master ninja i think it's it's extremely it's extremely hard or not even possible to make this fiend challenge time limit because you get so well he's just time. doing the uh the fight before the fiend challenge he didn't show the fiend yeah. challenges in any of the the videos that he made yeah i mean the, the strategy for those is is really straightforward at this point it's you know get get your 50 uts and then you know get them as fast as possible that's pretty much it. There's not really much more to it than that. And also, you can't you can't make the time limit. Uh, if I recall correctly, like you said, on Master Ninja and <clears throat> yeah, I don't believe you can. I mean, even that, like looking at that, that was a really short time. And I think they give you, I think they give you like two or three minutes, I think, on Master Ninja. So if you yeah, it's work the it same out... time all the way through. Oh, is it? All right. Yeah, yeah. Then, yeah, yeah for you definitely... for uh, all those fiend challenges, there, it's the same time limit for all the difficulties, if I remember it correctly. Now, I've not seen this spot used before until this video, and it's a really smart choice because the one really annoying thing when you try and do it in the middle is that sometimes the fish get stuck behind the environment and they can really screw up your UTs. So using this spot right here is really, really smart. So we can get, you can get like the usual rhythm of, you know, two, UT, two UTs per wave and keep it going throughout the whole thing. Now this is one of my favorite additions to Sigma. They removed the just ridiculous time limits for these ogre fights. Nobody wants to spend like six minutes farming these. It's so right. boring. I mean, you, you have to do a little bit of farming as he is showing. Um, but, you know, basically imagine this, but for like about five and a half minutes. And that's what you have to do in black. And it's really frustrating. This is a different way of fighting this guy, too, I think, isn't it? Pazu? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember what it is. I watched the video when he first posted it, so I'm pretty sure that's just to get Essence. Yeah, he's done that to get Essence and get a speed yeah. kill. And using the, the fast items there is really, really cool because you don't have to go into your item screen to replenish that Nimpo. You can just press down. Well, this is the end part of Chapter 12. He added a couple extra uh, things here on the video. But the time limit is 45 minutes, and the kills are 303. So, you know, that's no problem for this chapter. Yeah, at this point, the kill bonus has become somewhat trivial. But this is what you were talking about, about getting the extra enemies right here. And I guess he wanted to experiment with both of them. Yeah, I mean, a lot of that, you know, that's a big part of uh, a lot of calm runs. You, know, you do want to experiment, because even while playing the game you can kind of stumble upon strategies that you might not have thought of to get more points so it's definitely worth experimenting now that right there instant reset you know if you're doing a karma run i think now he's just kind of seeing how to get him to spawn yeah it looks like it i love the forward y with the heavy weapons it's such a cool move or triangle if you're on the ps3 right I always forget that <laughs> People were saying, there's no Y on PS2. <laughs> I just love it, just smacks them in their face. Yeah, there's a lot of like just really good enemy animation in this game too. Like the way the enemies react when you hit them. Like it just really kind of sells the you know the weight of the heavy weapons, the way they go flying. It's really cool. So the time limit hasn't changed. So I think it's better off getting the UTs, like you said. Because you're not going to get any UTs after the time limit. I mean, the, so, you know, getting that few extra kills, that 8,000 kills is not going to matter. Yeah, the same that applies looks to like this a fight. crap. Too. I mean, one of the black crabs that dropped down. Yeah, it did a little. They don't come until very hard. Oh, oh that uh, sucks. Brutal. Yeah. 
Okay, well, I think that's going to be it. We'll uh, see you in the next chapter. See you later, guys.